What we will need is a blank sheet of paper, a ruler which is optional, a highlighter, you can, you don't have to use it, uh, it's optional, and a pencil. So let's put the ruler and the highlighter away. And at the top, let's write our equation. It is 2 and 1 fourth times one and one half equals. So two and one fourth, what is the largest possible number or if we're gonna make the three section if we need if we're gonna make the two sections what's gonna have with the happen with the one fourth? Well we should have three sections so the fourths are gonna be there. So three and then one and one half is you guessed it two. Now we're going to get our ruler which is optional and then we're going to draw the blocks, um, the rectangle. So don't, we're not going to take the whole space that's provided there, we're just going to take what, what is reasonable. The uh, and so that's what, so we have it here. We're going to have a two and one um, fourth across this line because it's not going to make sense if, if the one and one half is here and two and one fourth because two and one fourth is bigger than one and one half. So let's make the three sections. And then the two sections for one and one half. So now um, we're going to label these places. So this is two um, blank over here and then fourths. And then one and then blank here and halves. And now we're going to get our half marked here. So we're going to make a line in the middle. And then for the sports, I'd rather go from half then the half of the other half, and then half of the other half, to make it easier and not have one half, is, one fourth is like this, the other fourth is like this, the other is like that, and so we need to have it equal, almost. So here we have it, two and the fourths, one and the halves. Now we're going to get our highlighter, and then we're going to get two and one fourth. So two and a fourth and then one and one half. So one and a half. And then we're going to connect those two. And so this is a rectangle inside the other one. Now we're going to get our pencil and then we're going to mark if this is a half a whole, a fourth, or an eighth. This is one whole. This is also a whole. This is one fourth. This is one half. This is also one half. And this is one eighth because four times two is eight. Eight. One eighth. Now we're going to flip the paper over and then we're going to write um, one the other one, the one half, the other one half, the um, one fourth, and one eighth, and then the line, and the addition symbol. So, we need to have a common denominator. I think a common denominator should be eight, because um, one, eighth, one eighth cannot be one fourth or a half. So one half can be one fourth and one eighth, but one fourth cannot be one half, but it can be one eighth. So we're gonna um, do eight, our common denominator, 
divided by 2 to figure out how many times 2 goes into 8. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we're going to multiply 2 by 4 and 1 by 4, which equals 4 eighths. And since this is what that is, we're going to do times 4 in both places, and we got 4 eighths. And now 1 fourth, 8 divided by 4 is 2, so we're going to multiply both 1 and 4 by 2 equals 2 eighths. And this is the same thing because it's an eighth. And now we're going to add 4 eighths plus 4 eighths plus 2 eighths plus 1 eighth, which is 4 eighths plus 4 eighths, 8 eighths. 2 eighths plus 8 eighths is 10 eighths, 10 eighths. And plus 1 eighth, which is 11 eighths. And now we're going to do 1 plus 1, which is 2. Now we're going to simplify this. Since there are no more than 1 eighths and 11, we're going to have 1 as our whole number. And now we're going to subtract 11 by 8, which is 3. And we're going to have the same denominator, 1 and 3 eighths, plus this 2, which equals 3 and 3 eighths. Since this cannot be simplified, this is our final answer. And so at the front row, let's write 3 and 3 eighths. That's so perfect. Yeah, 3 and 3 eighths. I hope this helped you all. And so see you later. Bye.